Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Phantom Strategies. Uh, so it's about 10 a.m. Eastern here in U.S. Uh, June 9th, and I want to bring you a quick update uh, on EOS. Uh, give you some of the how is the chart looking going into next week, and what are some of the potential for EOS, um, mainly on the technicals. Uh, so before we get it started, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit those notification and the bell icon so you can get this content right away. And if you think these videos are helping you with your trading, with your investing, then please do give me thumbs up. That really means a lot. All right. Um, so the reason I like to emphasize on the technicals um, over and over again is because like the crypto market is not it's very different than how other markets are get it, uh, getting traded like you know if you look at the uh, commodity markets if you look at the stock market you uh, in the stock market you have the earnings uh, earning reports uh, you know how how is the uh, like quarterly reports um, so you have something um, more fundamental that you can rely on in order to like navigate the market in order to tr make the trades on on the crypto market even in the currency market um you have to rely heavily on the technicals um on the charts on the patterns that's how you navigate the market and especially even in the commodity markets but in the crypto markets more than uh, more than anything you have to really rely on technicals because right now we are in a very early phase of the of this whole crypto boom if you will um that you you cannot like you know the the fundamental will take you uh, like you know up to like you know so much but you have to really if you really want to see under the like you know the first layer second layer you really have to look at the charts because like you know um it charts don't lie as as far as like you know that's there's a saying it says like you know charts don't lie and the reason it you know there is a saying like that because it's like if you're making a trade it will get displayed on the chart it's it's just it's just a visual uh, display of something that you are making a trade on so that being said i know it's, i i wanted to kind of inf you know why we always look at the technicals why we always look at the charts i want to go give you a quick recap on that so you know people who are new to the channel will understand why we are always looking at the charts um so they can also uh start doing similar things when they're uh, making the um trades okay um so uh quick recap on eos so eos had initial breakout back in april it had a mass massive spike then little consolidation another spike consolidation spike consolidation and then it went all the way up to 24 uh, around 23 um, dollars this is where i made the initial video on eos saying that it's an overbought it is overstretched and we shouldn't be uh you know chasing it and after that within 24 hours we had this massive spike down we try to you know it usually happens in the first spike down when you have the first spike down you have this little bit of rebound and then you have that's a relief rally the first rally that you get a uh, is like a relief rally and then you have trying to figure it out and then we had a leg down all right um then i made another video that is coming to some like you know uh, support levels um then it might be like a good opportunity um but we have been like since then we have been sitting in this consolidation with the overall market sell off and now what we are seeing is we are in the apex if you look at the apex in last uh, seven days we had a update down day down day update down day update down day down update so i mean it, it's it's what what that tells you its market is still trying to figure out or the coin eos is still trying to figure out where it wants to go whether it wants to break up or break down all right um so right now it's still trying to figure out now a lot of things obviously will dictate with the overall market condition if the overall market is staying positive and if it's moving in the north direction that's number one now number two is like you look at the individual coins like eos a lot of all coins and see which one is a better trade uh which one is setting up better for that move up right so you want to uh you, you want to do the second level of analysis on those coins and see what what kind of like potentials you have for those coins now looking at eos right now i see what i see is like we had this lower base uh back in early june we had a massive spike up 
all right with a nice volume then uh, we did not have a follow through instead we sold off and now we are trying to consolidate in this uh, in last few days so there is a demand it seems like there are people who are still uh, interested in buying EOS uh, we just have to need some further push in order to you know um, in order to get out of this consolidation and uh, and uh, and out of this wedge formation okay so right now again um, okay let me change that to blue that's a support um, so and just to recap like all the dotted blue lines are the support levels all the red ones are the resistance level the price action if it's below uh, if it's below the red line then it's like you know uh, obviously that's going to be resistance above the dotted blue line then it's obviously that's the support um, so right now we are in this consolidation phase um, it might take another f a few days or early into next week to get out completely get out of it I um, so until we get to this apex um, uh, you know uh, then we will see like you know a, a, a massive like you know spike either up or down and um, really will dictate with the overall market as well you know I, I, I I'm keep on saying that but it's it's, it's it will happen uh, with the overall market as well and uh, <clears throat> so we just have to wait for it and uh, I think yeah there there, uh, there are some room there's some legs for EOS um, People are still like you know interested in buying into EOS, so um, there is some interest in EOS. All right, so uh, there is no denial in that. Uh, the volume is uh, looking good right now and uh, is staying healthy right now. So that's those are all the good signs. Okay, um, so and I mean I would like you know if you are making a trade in it, make sure you are putting your stop losses maybe at like five percent or even like four percent. I wouldn't make any crazy trade on it until like you know we get a confirmation. Or if you are, then make sure that you are putting your stop losses. Do not go like all in without stop loss. I mean first thing first, like you never go all in. And if you are even taking a heavy position, make sure you do not go without stop losses no one has the crystal ball all right uh, no one I don't have it you don't have it I'm sure a lot of other people don't have it so uh, we are trading on probabilities okay so if the probabilities are looking good uh, that it might break up if the chances are in the favor of breaking up then those are good probability but still there are some there is not never a hundred percent probability that it will you know uh, it will um, obviously go up so you want to protect your downside risk if you protect your downside risk then your upside will take care on its own all right so I, I have said that a lot of the older subscriber a lot of the previous uh, you know pe people who have been with the channel for a long enough they know that uh, that I have said it plenty of times you always take care of your risk if you take care of your risk then your you know your profits will always take care of on its own all right so hopefully if you're taking into position or if you're already in a position uh, then you know you you, you might want to like you know uh, look into like you know stop losses or if you uh, if you think that you know certain levels that you can add on position then make sure you don't add on position any additional position until then like let's say you are saying you are giving yourself like you know hey I, I'm already in the position but I won't I don't want to add additional position until it comes to the next support level which will be around twelve dollar and eighty one cents then you know keep that number in your head and uh, you know and when it comes there then you know add maybe like a little bit of position in there so you get a better price average um, so those things that you can always you know um, work and it's very individual everyone has their different risk tolerance my risk tolerance is obviously different than yours and yours will be different than the third person around you so uh, you really have to like uh, you know sit down and like you know uh, see what kind of risk tolerance you have and what kind of like portfolio you're playing with you know if you have a thousand dollar portfolio then you probably don't have too much wiggle room to play with right so um you, so you want to be a little bit like you want to buy those dips you want to buy the, the sell-off when the market sell off and like uh, and if you're a hundred thousand dollar portfolio then you have a lot of wiggle room to play with right so it really depends on like individuals you know and and that's the reason i, I I'm, I'm still offering that um the portfolio analysis service if you're still interested in portfolio analysis um you know 
know, shoot me an email and uh, I can get you started on that. Um, so that will kind of gauge you like what kind of like, you know, percentage you have on like each, uh, each coin and like what kind of risk you are taking and so on. Um, so um, look into those things and like, you know, hopefully, um, you know, we can get out of this consolidation pattern and uh, hopefully toward the north side. Okay. And I will make some more videos for you fairly soon. Talk to you soon. Bye.